Hello everyone, I'm Nang Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing what is the narcissist's worst nightmare after leaving you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, that is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The Narcissist's Worst Nightmare After Leaving You It may be difficult to envision anything ever affecting the narcissist, because they think they're the best thing since sliced bread. They're extremely arrogant. They think they're very useful and exciting, even though they may have heard many insults before, and they've already been through so many things. So they're already anticipating it. They already expect to be targeted. They already expect to be talked about. Because they've been doing this for a long time. So they understand the potential consequences that may come along with their behaviours. Which is how they've managed to develop this tough exterior. But they may appear strong and resilient. So there's nothing you can think about that can ever affect them. Because it's like no matter what negative things happen to them, they will turn it into a positive. They will see it as something that enhances or improves them and brings them to perfection. They enjoy negative attention. It's just as good as something positive. Because in the long run, everything still revolves around them. To see them again. That makes them feel something positive because it reveals to them how much you still care. They understand human emotions very well, even more than a regular person. So they know why people say or do certain things. They know if you're still hung up on something they did. They know if they're still bothering you and they're loving every minute of it because it tells them they're still relevant. So the more you try to get revenge on them, it won't even touch them. They won't lose any sleep over that. Because they've already seen and heard it all before. So there's nothing you can do to them that's going to have an effect on them. Anything you do is just going to show to them that you're still invested in them. Because when they're no longer relevant to you, and they're no longer affecting how you feel, you will become indifferent. You won't have any particular interest in what they're doing. You would be unconcerned. And although initially it may sound counterintuitive, when you become indifferent to the narcissist, that is actually the beginning stages of your worst nightmare. Because that's the whole point of why they do what they do. They do it to get your attention, to get you to notice them, to make you react in ways that you normally wouldn't, so that it blurs the line between what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. It makes things less clear. It makes it difficult to see the exact truth about something. And this is the good and the right of the analysis. It's what they do over them. It's what they dream about. Thank you. 
what they want. Because they want to blur the lines between victim and abuser. They want to paint you as a monster. And if you go down the route of taking revenge, that is what you will eventually become. And by that point, it's mission accomplished to the narcissist. Because once you've made the foolish decision to cause irreparable damage, there's no going back after that. So that means that they have won. Because from that point on, they are pulling the strings. Almost like they're this master puppeteer, and you have become their puppet. Now they're suddenly in control of events and of other people's actions. They're calling the shots. And many of you may not even be aware of it, because they've secretly gained control of people as if they were puppets. They've gotten into people's minds. They've manipulated your emotions to the point where you care enough to give them the acknowledgement. And by you doing that, they know you're not healed. Because if you were, you would respond normally, or you wouldn't respond at all. So they know that they're still affecting you. They know that they're still relevant. Because you still care. So they're able to tell who is healed and who is not healed. They're able to tell who is not participating in, or not knowledgeable about, a particular train of pursuit or based on how you're responding to them. And whether or not you're still willing to argue with them, or if you're still trying to get them to see your point of view. Because if you are, that tells them you're still too emotionally invested, which means you're still okay. Shout at them. But they're not getting those types of reactions out of you anymore. So they know something's not adding up. They know they've lost control of you. Because otherwise you would have been satisfied with the results. You would show a longing or yearning for something more. Whether it's to get back at them or to reunite with them. But when you don't, it leaves them bewildered and perplexed. Because they became accustomed to your supply source. They were accustomed to how you used to respond. So the only possible conclusion they can come to as a narcissist is that if they no longer have that type of power over you, then someone else must have power over you. Because they will never acknowledge your independent ability or decision to no longer participate in something. They assume that it must be something else. Because they manipulated you in that way, so in order for someone else to affect your mental and emotional state, you must have found someone who was a better manipulator than them. Because in their minds, nothing is real. They learned that a long time ago. Everything is a game. And that is why they play to win. Because they don't believe people can really heal. They see it as though someone must have gotten to you and did a better job at what they did to you. Because in their minds there is no other alternative. That's the only thing that can happen. And they often get manipulated into things as well. 
which is why they're very competitive. But what they don't know is that you figure them out. And now you no longer want anything to do with them. Because now you've actually healed. And when you've healed, they do know. Because they can no longer affect your emotions in the same way that they did before. And by you not reacting in the way that you used to, you're now hurting their feelings. Now you're causing a narcissistic injury to them. Because you don't see them as anything. They're not special to you anymore. And they can sense the energy behind your words. They can tell if you really mean it. Or if you're just mad about what they put you through. Just as you can tell the difference, they too can tell the difference in you. They can recognize the different effect that they're having on you. And when you're completely unaffected by the narcissist, you can then look at them as a joke. You can no longer take them seriously about anything. And they really don't like that. Then it really gets to them. Because it's like after everything they did, and you're still not bothered, you're still unaffected by them. But as long as you're taking them seriously, and you see them as relevant, they know that they've got you. But when you're acting indifferent, they're having to endure something very unpleasant. Because then they're not getting the result that they want. So most of them will just leave you alone. Because they want to be relevant. They want to be important people. They want to be the centre of attention. But if you're not thinking of them as anything important or unusual, then it really gets to them. There may be some pushback initially, but eventually they may just try something else. Because they want to be relevant. So it's just whatever works for them. Whether they have to love bomb you, or play the victim to garner your sympathy, or if they have to harm you and then hang it over your head, it's just whatever will get them the attention that they're looking for. There are no limits or boundaries. There's no core values or meaning with a narcissist. It's just whatever works. So of course they're shocked when they see that you have something that they don't. It baffles them because they were taught differently. They learned that life is a game and people get played, used and manipulated. They never thought that anything could actually be real, which is why initially they will test you to see if you're willing to align with them. Because by that point, it's just an utter state of shock. They can't believe that you no longer listen to them, as if they know what they're doing, or as if they intend to carry out what they're going to carry out, or do what they're going to do. You no longer trust in them. You no longer believe in their reliability, truth, or ability. And instead, you have faith in your own. Which is a shocking relevant revelation for us, is it? Because at that point, you're affecting them more than they're affecting you. When they do the things that they do, all they really want is for you to take them seriously. If they take you seriously, you are worthy enough of their attention to where they then set out to target you. So now they want you to care. But when you stop taking them seriously, it's all over. And that all begins by you finding peace in the outcome. It begins by you moving forward. Because up until now, they had possession and control over that. So when, no, when they no longer do, it does affect them. Because they can tell when you're still angry or upset. Especially if you're still commenting on something that occurred between you and them. It tells them that you're still affected. And of course, the things that they do, do affect normal same people. Few people are completely immune. But in time you will begin to heal and recover from whatever startling or upset experiences you had to endure. You will continue to heal if you're not fully healed yet. 
I think you're not. The narcissist knows that. But once you have healed, to the point where you don't even comment on them, they know that you're done. They know they can no longer affect you or have control over you, which means that you have won. You have defeated the narcissist. So you have to get to the point where you don't care about them because they can sense your energy. They know when you're still angry, dissatisfied and disappointed. But when you become indifferent, when you no longer have any belief or hope in anything improving between you and them, that is when they know that you know. They know that's done. It's all of those positive things you think you saw in them. Especially when you see them move on from that situation. Those positive things came from you. They mirrored who you are. So in many ways, you fell in love with your son. The qualities you thought you liked about them were just things that they were picking up from you. Because they only liked the things that you liked and that you were interested in. They led you to attribute those things to them. But those were actually your qualities, which they mirrored and copied, and then were playing the back with you. Which should just reveal to you how great of a person you are. How good, moral, and righteous. Because despite all of the things they did, and all of the things they put you through, you still recognize what you do have to offer. And that is the essence of it. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's nightsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.